Hasn't been white folks. It's been this black lady sitting out here in the city for 22 years. And she doesn't like the idea that we come out here. Can I have permission to film you? No. Okay, I'll turn it off. Okay, I'll turn it this way. Yeah, I'm turning it the opposite way. I'm filming your sign. I'll film your sign. Not right. Okay. Not right All right. You already got it, so you ain't put your guns down off the camera. No, ma'am, you're not on the camera. No, ma'am, you're not on. You took it before I knew what you was doing. You think you're sick. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm filming your sign, ma'am. Your sign. You got me on there, too. I know you did. Miss Jacqueline Smith in protest. Yes, you did. She's in protest of the Lorraine Hotel. She doesn't want it to be here. She thinks that it uh, helps promote the whole uh, idea of the Ku Klux Klan coming down and laughing at Mo Dr. Martin Luther King. I had the video, and not to be, we've actually been trying to be cordial to her and trying to give her an opportunity to even come on the microphone and speak her. She doesn't want to speak her opinion. She's very, you know, and I love her. I really do, because if it wasn't for people like her, really, what would we have here? We would have uh, people that... We wouldn't have any balance. She helped balance out this whole thing. The reason why we're here. Dr. Martin Luther King had to have some type of resistance in order for him to get to where he was. Now, she's in direct protest of actually the, the entire hotel being here as a museum. Uh, they think, again, she thinks that it's uh, the Ku Klux Klan. It gives them something to come and physically laugh at, which is absolutely the opposite. It's just a memorial or a remembrance. Oh, now... We have grave sites all over the country. She won't go there and protest those, but she'll come and protest uh, the actual place where Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated at, which is a grave, because that's where the man took his last stand and made a wonderful speech. This is the place not just so we're celebrating his death, we're celebrating his life, his testament, what he has actually done for the blacks. But as you can see here in Memphis, Tennessee, it has actually taken a, a reverse role uh, the blacks have become on this side of the fence and have, have become, not all of them, I shouldn't say all of them, but quite a few of them have become very estranged to whites here. And, and you can tell me all oh, they remember the pain and, and this stuff. You know, we are in 2010. You know, we, we have a remembrance of Jesus, but we're not worshiping the Jews for what was done to him. We're not worshiping even ourselves for what we still continue to do to him. We, we don't do that. We have a remembrance of Jesus, uh, a remembrance of what he done for us. And it's sad to see this. It's sad to see this in 2010, that this lady has spent 22 years of her life sitting out here protesting the very good thing that Dr. Martin Luther King tried to do. Now, maybe I just don't see it her way. Uh, I have a hard time seeing anything when it's not peaceful. But we are trying to be peaceful. And I wasn't trying to film her to make a mockery of her. I love her dearly. Again, I say I think we need her here to voice her opinion, but not to be the way she's acting right now. And again, I have to account for 22 years of being out in this hot sun and in this uh, heat. And in the snow, she's been here 22 years without a day, without fail. So I just thought I'd put that on there, let you guys see that some of the things that we do are not always going to be met without resistance. Anything good does not come without resistance. Dr. Martin Luther King can tell you that. And before him, Jesus, the Christ, the Lord and our Savior, can tell you the same thing. Laughing at least. Yeah. All right, Thursday, August 26th, wrapping up my time here in Memphis, Tennessee. 
and yes, Glenda, I know Memphis uh, uh, in Tennessee. I know the difference between a state and the city. I was in a hurry that night. I was tired, so I wrote it. <laughs> but anyway, um, wrapping up my time, it, it was a great time, wonderful time. Got to do some beautiful places, Dr. Martin Luther King. I tell you, at the Lorraine Hotel, that just being there was um, breathtaking, uh, emotional. Um, uh, words just can't describe that moment. You got to come here. You got to come to Memphis, Tennessee. You got to get to the Lorraine Motel. Um, you've got to be there. You've got to see it for yourself. I can't explain it. So all those who, who know Dr. Martin Luther King, don't take it as just a museum or, or a place um, to go and see a piece of history. Take in all of it. Take in the, the time. It's, it's a place where time has stood still. They built around uh, the Lorraine Motel, all this urbanized stuff, but they left intact the event, the place. Um, it's almost like I'm still back at that time, back in the 70s, when this happened. I'm still back there. Um, or what's the thing? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm, but it, it hadn't stopped. Everything was kept in place, and I, and I love that about that, um, for me personally. Some may not like that, but I love that. So... We'll see what happens. I'm actually wrapping up a tour date there to uh, put me on a tour uh, across country. I don't know if I'll make every one. Obviously, I have obligations to the children, blah, 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 blah. Um, another gentleman wanted me to record at Al Green's studio. Amazing things have happened. And amazing contacts have happened here. So it was not a waste of time. I didn't get a chance to get on television. as really what this was all about. It was a six-minute spot. And, of course, the dogs came and showed up and took most of that time and but it wasn't a waste. I really believe God had me here. You know, sometimes he'll give you a taste, but you'll never be able to get all of it. Um, there's some other things that I understand, too, The uh, why I haven't gotten all of it. I have to do some other things back at home in order for me to see the fullness of all the potential that I can have with this music thing. So I'm going to try to settle those things when I get back. And I will see you guys in the next date. If nothing else, I'll see you back in New York. And... Uh, give you more footage of this. I'm going to download the video so you'll be able to see it. Obviously, you're probably looking at it now. But, um, and I'll just continue to give you footage of my life, uh, the, the course that it's taking, the, uh, the music. I, I, people responded to me, and, and I have something great. And it's taken me a long time to realize that. Everybody's been telling me I have a great voice, but I, maybe I've taken it for granted or I just didn't know. Um, but I, I just enjoy being with the people. It's not about celebrating me, but celebrating um, the music, um, celebrating the gift God has given me. So, we'll see you guys in the next clip. I can rattle on and on. i got some hours before I get home, and uh, I've got about 18 hours. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. I had a wonderful time. Memphis, Tennessee, come see it. Rendezvous. Go to Rendezvous. The best rib joint, hands down. Um, there's a lot of other ones. Nothing against them. Rendezvous is the place to go. Go see Rendezvous. You're going to love the ribs. And, uh, Pops, if you see that, you'll, if you ever come to Memphis, I'll take you there. Uh, <laughs> rendezvous is the place. So, we'll talk to you guys soon. See you, uh, give you more footage of this. And, uh, remember, love, peace, and happiness.